Certainly hope you've been following along all day and into the evening on 13 WMAZ and 13 WMAZ.com. Our sports team uh, giving you uh, complete coverage of National Signing Day 2023. Marvin James, Connor Hines out and about all around Central Georgia. Marv now checks back in with a few more Signing Day celebrations. West Lawrence Isaiah Austin joined the signing day party by way of Dexter. The defensive end slash a tight end signed his national letter of intent with Savannah State to play annually against the Fort Valley State in the SIAC. Out of the Foxy City, Mary Persons has a trio of Bulldogs who ink deals as well. Champ Brantley taking his talents to D1 in Charleston Southern in South Carolina. And in Riley will play at the next level at Carson Newman in Tennessee. And Tamarian Greer will stay close to home, joining Gordon State's club football program. Bleckley County's T.J. Mays will travel to Nebraska to play for Peru State. And Tyler Wilcox signed up to be a cadet with the Air Force Academy in Colorado. Way to go, Royals. And Wilkinson County's Jordan Jackson celebrated good times. Come on with family, friends, and fellow Warriors as he signed to attend Northeast Mississippi Community College. Mount the Sales, big offensive lineman Bryce Causey signed with D1 Jacksonville State in Alabama to line up in the trenches for the Gamecocks. And last but not least, Baldwin's Jermon Simmons, another offensive lineman, will hunker down in Milledgeville with the GMC Bulldogs and second-year head coach Rob Manchester. Congratulations again and happy National Signing Day. Marvin James, 13 WMAZ Sports. And a note from Marv, the first Wednesday in February is considered National Sign Day, mainly for football student athletes, and that's what the majority of our coverage dealt with today. However, we're going to showcase other sports signings uh, coming up in our 530 half hour. That's tomorrow night. Another young man putting pen to paper today, Brentwood War Eagle standout Colton Smith, the six foot two. Uh, 225 pounder signing on with Anderson University in Anderson, South Carolina. Former Mercer headman Bobby Lamb is the head coach at Anderson. Smith, a big reason for Brentwood's success the past several seasons, including a state title in 2021, also excels in the classroom, sporting a 3.9 GPA. Signing day, of course, for the Mercer Bears. Bears welcoming as many as 17 new Bears this afternoon. The program celebrated at an event downtown tonight at Fall Line Brewing Company. The vast majority of this year's recruits play offense, including three new offensive linemen. Meanwhile, the Bears will return 10 starters on defense next year. Other highlights of this class include Tattnall Trojan wide receiver Braden Smith and Crisp County linebacker Julian Fox. Head coach Drew Cronick talked to Connor Hines about this year's group. The more success we have, uh, the, the better these signing classes get. You know, we, we've got a winning football program now. Um, it's a great looking signing class. Uh, I'm really excited about the work our staff put in. And there's so many people that uh, that help you do this. Right, I mean, right. it, we always say it takes it takes a whole university to win in football. And it's the same thing recruiting because you got to be able to attract the right people and win some recruiting battles. And uh, I feel like this is a real nice signing class coming in. Now, the Bears recently announced their 2023 starting conference schedule. They open conference play at Furman. September 23rd. If you missed any of our coverage from throughout the day, Peach County to Macon, Houston County, and all around, you can hop on 13WMAZ.com under the sports tab and check out everything we have to offer. 713-1.